Hello there, everybody. This is Captain Dennis with Squall Spring Divers. We don't like to do repeats, but we're going back to the shallow boilers wreck. It's the second time we've been there, and I have a guest on the boat, and we wanted to get him in the water, and it was kind of windy, so we got something close to shore, and it's got some pretty consistently good visibility, so we're going to go down and try our luck today. So it's the beginning of the fall. It's October 1st. And we get down to the bottom, and the first thing we come across is this cool tire. And it's got these orange things growing on it. What do you think of that? So we're going to keep on heading down to the bottom to check out the anchor before we continue on further into the wreck. As you can see, it's a hard, sandy bottom. And that's why we get the pretty decent viz. At least that's what I like to tell myself. And as we get down here, we can see there's some sea bass off in the distance and some more sea bass and those sea bass I think are what's called Michelin sea bass so now we're on some more wreckage it's kind of a big square looking like thing with a hole in it see that I don't know what that's all about but that's what it is folks and look at that there's some stripers down here. Seems like everybody and their brothers at this wreck today. And it's the beginning of fall. Everybody's getting all, all gussied up for the long winter. So we're going to put our camera down here because there's so many different fish. We're going to leave it alone and we're going to see who, uh, who swims in front of it. See who's uh, showing up at the prom. So here we've got a whole mess load of sea bass. And then some blackfish. Pretty cool blackfish. And it's another sea bass. And then we've got a bunch of porgies or scup. And they came on through. Shiny little guys, aren't they? And look at this. Somebody look at this. Look at this guy on the right. Check him out. He's made us. We got to get out of here. Grab the camera. Let's go. So here we are on a unique cylinder with a little kind of nubby thing in the middle of it. Not sure what that is. But we're going to investigate further. So we're coming around the eastern side of this cylinder. And I see a hole up front. Or in the back, I don't know, but there's a hole there. As we get up there, we can see the little sea bass hiding inside. And we stick the camera in there because I could see somebody else. It's a lobster hiding inside. And we use solar lights from Light in Motion. Put that out of the way. So here's the other side. It's got a little nub on this side too. And then another bigger cylinder. Coming around the northern side. And it's a boiler. This one's a boiler. The other one might be too, but this one I know because it's got a little holes in it. See a little holes? That's a boiler. So we're going to head west. And you can see there's a lot of fish in the water column over here today. Here's another unique piece of wreckage. And it looks like things have been moved around a bit. So there could have been a storm or something like that since the last time we were here. I think it was like two, three years ago maybe, but... Stuff in every which way now. You can see all the different types of plant life on this wreck. And it makes the little fish show up. And the little fish hang out, hide in the little hide spots. And then these guys come and they eat the little guys, I guess. That's the circle of life. So uh, now we're underneath it and you can see all these like tubular things those that's actually fish in line 
this stuff like like this like jelly stuff kind of grows on it it's like a slime and it keeps accumulating and it turns into like the, the line gets bigger and back over here we got some more sea bass and i'm not sure where we are on the wreck because it's all kind of blown up in every different direction so i'm i'm not really sure but i think this might be the engine The site looks, like I said, very different than I, when it was here last. Which is interesting, because it's, it's great to see how things change. Off to your right, you can see there's a, an anchor. Not there, over here. Yeah, see this anchor? Check that out. And the anchor goes up, 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 up. And over the wreckage, somebody hooked this a little too well. And you can see that there's a lot of growth on the uh, chain. It's been here for quite a while. Comes up and over. So here we are on the other side, and there's these like, they look like spools. When it started to look like uh, some kind of, like some teeth on it. See the teeth, the little jobbers over there, yeah. And here's another angle. These things are probably, this is probably about eight feet wide or eight feet tall or however you want to look at it. And then down over here, oh, hello there, Mr. Blackfish, how are you? He's hanging out in the in the in the wreckage, just doing his thing. Coming back out to say hello again, or either that or it's another guy. Y'all ready for Halloween, bud? What you gonna be? Uh, oh, all right, all right, all right. He's getting a little crazy. So I'm not sure if this is a show. Ooh, another guy. That's a state record. I'm telling you. So it's like some kind of a shaft here with a big sprocket spool. I don't know what these things are. Whatever. The brown thing. And there you look. There are two little buddies hanging out down here. They like hiding in the, in the wreckage. So we're going to back out. And here's the other end of that sprocket thing and spindle, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like a capstan. Looks like two of them, actually. And they go right into those winches. Or not the winches, but the, the big shaft thing with the with the round thing. Very technical here today, folks. Very technical. So here's the opposite side. We're looking at them from the uh, hold on. Eastern side. And this is another strange piece of debris. And it's got some little pieces of brass pipe underneath it and there's a little anchor you can see the little square and another round thing and look at that gear that's that's a heck of a gear folks it's got some buoys caught in it so I guess some nets got all fetched up in it you can kind of you can really see that that gear pretty big gear I'd say three foot four foot diameter and here's it again from a different angle so uh it's it in some spots it kind of looked like a train but I don't believe it's a train I just think it might have been a you know one of those chugga chugga type of engines But if you know, write it in. We'd love to hear what you think. Theories are always great. And even if you know what you're talking about, I'll take it. See, this looks like the, you know, like the wheel. See the wheel thingy with the little thing on it? Chugga, chugga, chugga. You know what I'm talking about? But you get the idea. See? Chugga, chugga, chugga. But that's about it. So we're going to, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's like a wheel with a thing on it. But uh, that's the end of our dive. We hope you enjoyed today's dive. We're going to head back up to the boat. This is our 140th video. So if you haven't seen any other ones or this is the only one you've seen, go to squallsmarine.com and check it out. Until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.